Hello, Northwest community. Hey, I just want you to know that I really uh, miss seeing you. I know that you miss uh, seeing one another. Uh, man, I really miss our gathering times. So I just want to give you a little pick-me-up for today. Uh, just some encouragement, let you know that I'm thinking about you and, uh, and, and just wanted to, to say something that maybe will pick us up just a little bit as, we, as we're not able to be together right now. Sherry and I, we went to Walmart yesterday. I needed to pick up a few items, uh, nothing major. Uh, we were just going to go in, get uh, a few little things that we needed, and I get more than we needed, but just do like we always do. We had about 16 items that we were needing to pick up. And we wound up, we were only able to find eight of those items. Uh, that's how empty the store shelves were. And uh, I just remember that when we got to Walmart, and as we walked in the grocery side of the Super Center there at Washington, there were about, uh, oh, I don't know, four to five police officers that were standing right in that area. And I was thinking then, man, I wonder what's going on. I knew a couple of them uh, from working security at the sporting events at the Washington uh, like football games, basketball games, and different things like that. And so we just kind of gave one of these air high fives, and, and I really didn't want to bother them, so I didn't ask them what was, what was up. But I later found out that the reason that they were there was because there had been a major argument, a big knockdown drag out out in the parking lot over a parking space. And I thought to myself, man, isn't there enough stress? Isn't there enough anxiety with everything else that's going on? And now we're going to fight over parking spaces. But I think that kind of shows us where people are at and where their fuses are at. Uh, there's so much hopelessness. There's so much uh, frustration. There's so much uh, anger, uh, there's so much uncertainty, there's, there's so much anxiety that is built up, that is ready to explode in a lot of different ways. So I thought about this verse, and as you begin your day today, that maybe we can put this verse into practice for our lives and be difference makers. And it's found in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 15 and 16, where the Bible tells us, therefore, let us offer, through Jesus, a continual sacrifice of praise to God, proclaiming our allegiance to His name. And don't forget to do good and to share with those in need. These are the sacrifices that please God. being a continual sacrifice, a praise to God. That's the challenge for us today, that wherever we go, whomever we talk to, even if we're just staying in our houses, that I want to be a continual sacrifice of praise to God. And not only that, but, but everywhere that I go and whomever I talk to, and even again, if it's only just inside of my own house, I want to proclaim my allegiance to his name. And as we proclaim our allegiance to his name, he's not talking about me just simply saying that, hey, I'm a Christian, or I'm a God follower, I'm a God chaser. He's not talking about us just verbalizing that. But the way that we proclaim our allegiance to the name of God and the way that we are a continual sacrifice to the praise of God is by doing good and sharing with those in need. Doing good and sharing with those in need. Yesterday, as Sherry and I were at Walmart, as I was pushing my cart down one of the aisles, and let me just say, man, the store, the, the shelves on the grocery side were just practically empty. Everything was empty. Uh, 
So many of the shelves were empty of groceries. Uh, the meat bins were completely empty. The, the fruit, the, the vegetables, all, everything, the eggs, the butter, everything was gone. So there just wasn't a whole lot of stuff uh, to pick from. And as I was going down one of the aisles with, with my cart, I met a, an older couple coming up in the aisle pushing their cart. And as I looked at them, I could tell that, that they were afraid. I mean, you could just see it all over their face, that they were afraid, that, that they were just barely shuffling along. They, they wouldn't look at anyone. They, they didn't have any kind of expression on their face. There was so much bewilderment. It was almost like they were in a complete fall. And I can remember as we got across from one another, I looked at them and I said, good afternoon, how are you folks doing? And they looked at me. And as I said that, and they saw the smile on my face, they smiled back and they said, hey, we're doing okay. And then they said, how about you? And I told them I was doing okay. And we spent probably maybe 30 to 45 seconds just, just talking about maybe something very, very small. I can't even remember what we were talking about, but, but it wasn't anything of significance. But I can tell you one thing. As I watched them walk away, it made all the difference in the world to them. But it also made all the difference in the world to me. Because you know why? Because we were pleasing God. I was pleasing God by just simply doing good and by giving something that they needed. It wasn't money. It wasn't groceries. It wasn't anything of significance. All it was was my time and a smile and words of, of encouragement, I guess, just simply recognizing someone. And that's all it takes. And so what I want to do is encourage us today, encourage you today as you begin your day. How can you be a continual sacrifice of praise to God? Sacrifice to God. What good can you do today? You know, we're going to find ourselves stuck inside today, just like we have for the last few days for many of us. I mean, you know, we're going to be getting cabin fever uh, I know Sherry and I, we went outside yesterday, and, and Sherry, as a matter of fact, was the one that wanted to do it. She goes, hey, let's play some basketball. So neither one of us had really shot a basketball in about the last four years, but we played some basketball, and man, it felt good just getting outside and, and releasing some of that energy. So I want to encourage you today to think, how can I do something good today? How can I give someone uh, something uh, that, that they need today? And again, it could just simply be uh, just a word of encouragement. Who can you call today? Maybe someone in our family, someone in our uh, group that, uh, uh, that, that just needs to pick me up. Someone that, that maybe doesn't have the internet that's receiving this pick me up. What can you do today to call them and just simply say, you know what, I've been thinking about you. And I want you to know that I love you. And, and I just wanted to check and see, are, are you okay? Everything going good. That's all it would take. But I can guarantee you, it may only take two or three minutes to say that. But I don't think you're going to be on the phone for only two or three minutes. Or maybe, who can you sit down and maybe write a, an encouragement note to and, and just checking on? Or as you go to the, the grocery store to pick up your groceries, maybe there's somebody in your neighborhood that you know that is older, that is afraid to get out because, because they're, they, they, they are, their immunity isn't what it needs to be, and, and they're afraid to get out in the crowd. So maybe you can stop by and just say, hey, I'm going to head to the supermarket, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to find what you might need, but, but is there anything that you need that I can pick up for you? Or is there something that you need me to pick up uh, at, the, at the pharmacy that, that you may be needing or a prescription that you need filled that I can pick up for you? See, there's so many things and so many ways that we can simply do good and that we can give someone something that they need that will be a continual praise of sacrifice to God, to the, to the praise of God's name, to praise him. Uh, just proclaiming our allegiance 
to his name. This is what pleases God. So as you start your day, let me have a word of prayer real quick so you can get out the door and I can get out the door or we can get about what we need to be about. So Father, uh, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, God, that we can uh, encourage one another in this way. But Father, I just want to ask you to help us to be a continual sacrifice of praise to you today by simply doing good and giving to others uh, to meet their needs. Father, we just want to please you. And this we ask in the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. Have a great day.